Hello Internet. Today we have this very old graphics card that came in for repair. This card came with two extra chips that I'm guessing I'm going to need at some point. For now, let's take this thing apart and see what's wrong. There we have it. Everything looks good. Except for this corner and this corner of the die. The chipping of the die is most likely caused by careless heatsink installation or by the design. The smaller the die, the easier it is for it to break. Either way, I'm going to use my cheat sheet I made a while back to test all the necessary pads near the bottom of the board. And then proceed looking for shorts everywhere else. Not knowing exactly what resistances I should be expecting and where, I'm gonna go ahead and power the board and see what it does while looking at it with a thermal camera. Looks like most of the MOSFETs are working very hard and the reason for that is likely the short on this coil and these two. Which I'm guessing are linked to the core and the chip at the bottom, as well as the memory. So, I removed all three coils, powered the board again and it looks like these things are getting hot. What does that mean? No idea. There is no voltage in places where the coils would be, so what powers the core and the chip at the bottom? I don't know. So I'll put the coils back on and have a look one more time. Right now, I'm basically getting a short on every capacitor around the core. And if I measure the capacitor on the other core, there should be no short. And that's great, because now I know 100% that the core is short. So I will replace the core, as well as the chip at the bottom, so that way I don't have to play a guessing game for too long. There we have it. Instead of 0 ohm, we now have 1.5. And here, instead of 0 ohm, we have 34. Everything else is also looking good, so let's power the cord and see what it does. We now have voltages on these coils, and if you're interested, the whole voltage and resistance map can be found on my Discord server, so join if you want to see more measurements of this card as well as others. Meanwhile, I'll be putting this thing together, bring it over to the old PC, which one of you hooked me up with a while back. Thank you. Boot it up and see if it posts. But before I do that, I ran into a problem where this old AGP slot card somehow managed to get a more modern PCI Express connector, which this old power supply does not have, so I'm gonna need an adapter. On top of that, 
If I power the system with a DVI cable connected to the graphics card, the motherboard will not power at all. Maybe if I use a motherboard video through RGB, through the RGB to HDMI converter, through the HDMI switch into the monitor, would it work? Nope, no post. And without the GPU, it posts. With the DVI cable plugged in directly into the monitor, the GPU has posted. Got into Windows, install drivers and black screen. Trying different drivers, this time they did get installed and there goes the happy dance. But after reboot, system froze. So I tried different drivers, which helped a little, but eventually system would freeze, so the card was sent back to the customer with a no fix, who apparently was able to find the correct version of drivers, and it actually works. And here's the proof. Thank you for watching, hopefully this was interesting to watch, goodbye.